Well, Zoo Knoxville continues their bringing the zoo to you with daily educational recordings by the staff. And today they introduce us to their newest residents. Um, in the herpetology office, we have our 80 degree incubator, which is much smaller than our other incubators. Um, and so we just have a few boxes of different species eggs, uh, mostly flat tailed tortoises and uh, Holmes hingeback tortoise eggs. And Right now, we currently have a flat-tailed tortoise egg hatching, which I'm very excited about. Boxes are flat tails. There's three boxes of flat tails. There's a couple round boxes in the back uh, that are Holmes Hinchback. And then this little box up here has some Rhodey Island snake neck turtle eggs in it. Oh, wow. Okay. But this is my little hatching baby. Tortoise will have a tiny little, it's called an egg tooth on its uh, on its beak, basically, um, and it uses that tiny little sharp tooth to start cutting through the egg. Um, it'll make a hole, and it'll just just keep just keep making holes so that it can get out. Most of the species take take a little while for them to come completely out of the egg. It might take a few days. Like this little guy might take a few days to actually fully come out. Um, and then some of them just they'll hatch, and then they'll be out in an hour. Typically, tortoises live on land, and they have high dome shells, and they have elephantine feet and they'll usually be more vegetarians. Um, and then turtles typically live in the water, more so in the water. They'll have webbed uh, toes and um, they'll be more carnivorous. This is the, the newest hatchling that's finished. Um, and this is a little Holmes hingeback tortoise. He's, he's pretty small. But the Holmes hingeback, um, they need um, some kind of diet food, um, stuff every twice a week and then they also need to stay pretty moist um, you can this this has gotten a little dry but you can tell how it's a little bit wet and then this is pretty damp um, but um, they also get um, they might get different kinds of brows every so often as well um, the the drier tortoises really like brows and eat it often these guys don't seem to eat as much as, as the other ones do, but they do really like mushrooms. I just love seeing them grow. It's really, um, it's really nice to, you know, see them hatch and then keep feeding them and watch them gain weight because we weigh them every so often, make sure they're doing okay. And it's just very nice. The hinge back part is right here. Oh. And they can actually close that up just like a box turtle can close up the front. They can close up the back. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then um, they'll protect their heads with their scaly front legs like that. <laughs> Again, one of many daily educational videos that you can watch on Zoom Knoxville, their Facebook page.